Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of I Teach. I had somebody ask me a really good question in regards to what each piece of equipment does when you come in for an eye exam. Um, so I thought we'd take a couple of minutes to go through the function of each machine. The first couple we'll go through are normally ones that are done in the pre-testing room. Sometimes they're done by the doctor, but most of the time done by a technician. So let's take a look at those ones first. The first piece that we're gonna look at is the auto lensometer. This machine has the ability to actually determine what prescription is in your current pair of glasses. So regardless of whether or not we've seen you before, the machine spits out those numbers to tell us what your prescription is. The next piece that we're gonna look at is the non-contact tonometer. Now, it's also known as the air puff, the puff of air. Nobody seems to like this one because it's a little bit startling, uh, but there's a reason why we use this machine. This machine uses that puff of air to actually flatten the cornea. The amount of air pressure needed to flatten the cornea is equal to the pressure inside the eye, also known as the intraocular pressure. There are lots of reasons why we need to check intraocular pressure. The main one for most people is because high intraocular pressure can lead to a higher risk of developing glaucoma and untreated glaucoma can lead to severe vision loss. So that's why that puff of air is necessary. Now there are a couple other ways that we check intraocular pressure, one of which is called a Goldman tonometer. That's a little piece that we use on our slit lamp, which you'll see in a second. And with a numbing agent, we can actually press the probe against the eye to check the intraocular pressure. It's a little bit more accurate, but it's also a little bit more invasive, which is why we normally just pe put people through the puff of air. The next piece is the autorefractor. Now in our clinic's case, our autorefractor and our non-contact tonometer are a two-in-one machine. So it's the same machine, but what the autorefraction does is it gives us an estimate of what a patient's refractive error is. So it almost acts as our starting point when we do the one or the two tests that everybody loves. The next piece is a retinal camera. So what the retinal camera does is it takes a fundus photo. And that means it's a picture of your retina. So this is the one where you have the big flash of light. Um, and this allows us to actually photograph your central retina and usually a little bit of your peripheral retina as well. The next piece is an OCT. And again, in our clinic's case, our OCT and our retinal camera are two in one. So it's the same piece of machinery. Um, but with an OCT, what it does is it uses light to actually measure retinal thickness. Using those thicknesses, it has a software that can put those together and actually give us a cross-sectional image of the retina. This helps us diagnose and manage eye diseases. Now that we're done the pre-testing machines, we'll move on to the machines that are in the actual exam room itself. The first machine is the slit lamp. This is the big microscope that you have to put your chin into and your forehead up to the band. The slit lamp is a high-powered microscope that allows us to assess the lids, the front of the eye, and the back of the eye. The Feropter is the piece of machinery that leads us to a patient's prescription. So this is the wonderful machine that we get to ask people one or two when we use. This allows us to determine the best lens for that person. Most Feropters that you'll see will have dials on the side and they're black and silver in color. Ours at the clinic here are automatic, so there's a little control panel that I use to adjust what lenses the patient is looking through. However, they're both capable of providing an accurate prescription. The last one is the visual field machine. This one allows us to check the peripheral vision. The way that it checks the peripheral vision is using a central light that you fixate on all the time, and it uses lights elsewhere that blink. When you see those lights, you hit a button. Using its software, it can map out what your visual field looks like with each eye individually or both eyes together. This machine is particularly important for neurological issues, allowing us to manage glaucoma, and also for things like driver's exams. There's a few other machines that some clinics will use and other clinics won't, uh, but these are the most common ones that you'll encounter when you go in for an eye exam. Hopefully this provided some insight on why we use these machines. If you have other questions for us, don't be afraid to comment below. Uh, and otherwise, thanks for listening.